Hello everyone, nice to meet with you again. We have uh, factorization today, factorization by grouping. Okay, factorization by grouping, you, we usually use, uh, use this type of factorization when you have an expression like this, four terms or more. Okay, this type of factorization depends on selecting two terms or maybe three in some questions such that the two terms have the common factor. As you see here, these two terms, there is a common factor x here, and also 9 and 45, both in table 9, outcomes in table 9, so they are divisible by 9. So you take a group, first term and second term, this group, and the third and fourth also, there exists a common factor between them, this is second group. So I have two groups now, okay? I have the first group, this one, and second group, this one. Now you try to take out the highest common factor of each group. This group, the highest common factor is 9, 45 and 9 divisible by 9. This is the maximum number, okay? X and X is common factor X. And after that, divide. 9XY divided by 9X equals Y. Or you already took outside 9X, the remaining Y, you have to write it inside. Plus, 45 divided by 9, 5. X over X1, don't write 1, okay? Plus, the common factor between 4 and 20, the highest, I mean, 4. X, Y square and Y cubed, the highest common factor, Y square. And after that, divide. 4 divided by 4, 1, no need to write it. Y cubed divided by Y square is Y. Of course, if you write 1 Y or Y, no problem, the same. Okay? Plus, 20 divided by 4 is 5. And Y square over Y square, 1, finish. After that, the common factor now is the expression. Look, this expression, look y plus 5 here and y plus 5 exists here and here so you take outside y plus 5 common factor and the remaining inside this one yes this will remain 9y and 4y squared this will remain inside just write it in a bracket 9x plus 4y squared thank you that's it so uh, the original expression of the four terms it can be written in the form as a product of two expressions, one first degree and second is second degree, as you see. Okay? Go to the next one. 12a cubed minus 9a squared plus 4a minus 3. I have a common factor between this and this. Take it. I don't have common factor here, no problem. Just consider it's times 1. No problem. Take a common factor here, or the highest, 12 and 9 divisible by 3. A squared and A cubed, A squared is a common factor, a highest common factor. Now divide. 12 by 3, 4. A cubed over A is A. Minus 9 divided by 3 equal 3. A squared over A squared, 1. Plus, uh, we don't have any common factor here. 4A minus 3, consider it's multiplied by 1. Now this term, this uh, binomial, 4A minus 3 exists here and here. So 4A minus 3, just to take it outside, remaining inside 3a squared plus 1, this number. Very easy, okay? Continue one more. Uh, 35xy minus 5x minus 56y plus 8. Also, I try to group here, also first and second. Uh, this term now is, uh, is a negative, okay? I cannot make a bracket now. I cannot. I have to make it like, let me, let me show you. Um, I, I can factor this one by taking out highest common factor, which is 5x remaining inside y minus 1. Now, uh, negative 50xy plus 8, I will take negative common factor. This negative side, I'll take it common factor. And uh, 8, of course, 56 and 8, both in um, uh, our results in table 8, so they are divisible by 8. 8 only common factor, or negative 8. When you take negative this one, no need to write it inside. You cannot write it inside. Finish. So 56 divided by 8 is 7. Yes? I, uh, I did something wrong here. So 35 divided by, by, by 5 is 7. Sorry. Again. 35 divided by 5x equals 7. x over x1, y. 5 over 5, 1. 5x five over 5x1. Five now it's correct. 7 here after taking 8, 56y divided by 8 equals 7y. Positive divided by negative, you have to write it negative now. You divide this term with its sign by negative 8. 8 divided by negative 8 is negative 1. Now the common factor is the same. Look, the common factor, the bracket, 7y minus 1, is the same here, 7y minus 1. Okay? So 
the bracket itself 7y minus 1 ticket common factor remaining inside 5x minus 8 okay this is the answer uh, number 4 I want to factor this one 40xy plus 30x minus 100y minus 75 also make a group here uh, take 40xy plus 30x okay if you can solve it please uh, each I want uh, each one of you start solving now and you check uh, the answer with me the first two terms are positive so it's better now to take this negative outside okay make a group now of 100y plus 75 or plus because already this negative and this negative you take a common factor outside okay now go to each group and factor it okay here the maximum number can be 10 okay 40 and 30 divisible by 10 or of course it's divisible by 2 and 5 and 1 but 10 is the biggest number take 10 please x here and x here just to take it outside uh, y is not factored open a bracket now divide step by step 40 divided by 10 equal 4 xy divided by x equals y plus the same sign plus 30 x divided by 10 x or 30 divided by 10 equal 3 and the x over x1 no need to write 1 here okay because it will be 3 times 1 the same 3 okay minus 175 the highest common factor is 25 if you cannot decide it mentally like me now you can try it outside by any any method you studied before to calculate the highest common factor of the two uh, given numbers 25 only common factor uh, 100 divided by 25 is 4 y plus uh, 75 divided by 25 is um, is 3 look this br this bracket is the same this bracket okay so 4y plus 3 just to take it a common factor now a common binomial uh, for these two uh, expressions remaining inside the outer one this and this 10x minus uh, 25 look this result is it simplest form this factorization no not enough 10x minus 25 this is divisible by 5 yes so divide by 5 here and write 5 outside so the, the final answer is 5 into 4y plus 3 times 2x minus 5 thank you this one come this one here i have a common factor between 4x square and 12xy but 9y square and 25 no common factor between them so what i'll do now i'll i'll re uh, uh, or look again on, on the expression look at this expression look this is trinomial yeah x square and xy and 9y square so this one can be factored alone and leave minus 25 outside okay 4x square is 2x times 2x the 9y square is 3y into 3y i want the middle term to be negative make it negative and negative the middle term now is negative 6xy and negative 6xy negative 12xy your factorization is correct this type of factorizing trinomial is called perfect square trinomial because you when you factor you found it uh, a, a, a binomial times itself yeah look 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3 again so it's really 2x minus 3y all square look 2x minus 3y also 2x minus 3y so it can be written in this form now this expression is the difference of two square you remember this type of factorization we st you studied before yeah it can be factored as uh, double parentheses uh, you split this square into two amount 2x minus 3y into 2x minus 3y because consider this like x square you split it x times x but instead of x we have a binomial just write it just write it here and here uh, 25 or negative 25 is split only into positive uh, 5 into negative 5 that's it you can write small parentheses here or after that you can remove it because no need to write uh, double parentheses here 2x minus 3y plus 5 into 2x minus 3y minus 5 really if you multiply these two expression again you will get the original expression 4x squared minus 12xy plus 9y squared minus 25 this is what i want to talk uh, with you today about factorization by grouping i i need i hope everyone get the idea and i ask every one of you now go and practice and practice until you master the skill thank you so much
Uh, if you have any problem, just write uh, in comments. Thank you. Goodbye.